Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 27 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. I apologize for the delay in getting this video out. We had a couple of um, hiccups this morning, but back on track and ready to roll. Today, we are going to get into the lead accelerator opportunity that the uh, Command program has. So, lead accelerator is this microphone down here. We're going to click on lead accelerator. And we're going to start a basic campaign in Facebook and Instagram. So we're going to start there. So this marketing campaign, I took a new listing last week at 811 Mac Wax Myrtle Lane. And we're going to do an advertised listings campaign. All right. So we're going to call this 811 Wax Myrtle Lane advertised listing. We're going to choose Facebook and Instagram. Facebook, uh, obviously Instagram owned by Facebook, so that's a pretty easy correlation between those two. So we're gonna start with those two. We're gonna say, let's schedule this for 10 days, starting tomorrow, running to the 29th. Um, I wanna spend $25 total, so it'll be a $2.50 budget per day, and I want to advertise my listing. You can see the different opportunities here within marketing campaign goal and choose the one that makes the most sense for you. Next, I'm going to configure the campaign. So first, I'm gonna tie the listing to the campaign. So that's 811 Wax Myrtle Lane. That's already in my MLS. I can see that in KWLS by clicking only my listings and then selecting which one I wanna utilize. In doing so, that ties in the property. It's also gonna tie in the photos down here below. We told the system we wanted to spend $25 total. It basically went ahead and divided that over 10 days between the two channels, Facebook spending $13 total, Instagram $12, $1.30 and $1.20 a day between those two. Next, it's going to say, do you want to copy or overwrite your first channel's content? So I can go ahead and do that. It's gonna be the same between the two. Next, we're gonna to choose the Facebook business page that it's associated with. And then you can go into add content. Which six images do you want associated with the actual listing? So even though I have more than six, it's only going to allow me to choose six photos. So I'll say, hey, I want to do the, the first one. And let's see, we'll do the main one here. I like this one of the kitchen. Let's do one of the master bedroom, the master bath. And then the fact that the laundry is in the closet is pretty cool. You know, the ad text, um, location, 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 this beautiful uh, townhome, this beautiful one bedroom, one bathroom, townhome is located within walking distance. It would really help if I could type well, within walking distance. Oh, geez, Louise. Uh, ah, the pressure's getting to me. Uh, city center, whatever, right? I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you could put that in there, right? The enter the headline. They have several to choose from in here. Um, so let's say we chose one that we liked. It might be um, your ideal home. Come in and decide, right? Or you could type your own in if you wanted. CTA text is the call to action text. So I'm going to put learn more. The link description, I'm going to put click here for more information about this beautiful town home within walking distance. Again, you'd probably do something a little bit different than the description, but I'm just going to put that for right now. And then the call to action link, um, that might be for me, it's the HAR link, which is my MLS. I've created a custom page there. Um, whatever you'd like that to be. We're going to work on landing pages in a little while, but for right now, uh, whatever your call to action link might be would be a page that you've already created. We're going to create our own page soon in the future, uh, but for right now, we're just going to leave it at that. Um, this is a one bedroom, one bath, first story unit. So honestly, I think it's going to apply to a wide range of people, single empty nesters, single young bachelors, and kind of everywhere in between or bachelorettes, if you will. What location am I in? Houston, Texas. What radius do I want to do? Let's do a 10 mile radius. From there, I could click on save and activate and my ad would be up and running on Facebook and Instagram. We're gonna get into expert mode later on in the week. So I'll show you some of the things that you can do within Facebook and Instagram. But for right now, 
If I wanted to spend $25, it'd show me this is kind of what we're looking at location. It would have the extra photos that I have selected also available. It has the headline and then the call to action and then the call to action link. So the text and then the link itself. Um, and uh, from there, they could learn more, right? By clicking on that button and it would take them to the listing. So you've seen Facebook ads before, you know what they look like. Um, and that's essentially it. If you have not set up your credit card within the payment profile, you will need to do that ahead of time. If you click on save and activate, it actually will not activate if you don't have that credit card set up. So I do have that credit card. This is not exactly the ad I wanted to run. So I might click save as draft. And yes, I wanna save it. And I will come back to that. I now see that I have a separate Instagram and Facebook set up right for the ad on both of those. So that's very basic lead accelerator with regards to Facebook and Instagram ads. If you want to kind of get in here and play around with what it would look like to actually set up an ad within Facebook, within command, excuse me, for Facebook and Instagram on one of your listings, this is how you would do it. So we'll continue to expand upon lead accelerator throughout the week. And as always, if you guys have any uh, questions you can let me know otherwise i look forward to hopefully speaking with you in the morning have a great day guys